Oh, for sale now Vehicle Max, we have a 2007 Chevrolet Suburban LTZ two-wheel drive, completely loaded. It is uh, summit white with light gray interior, has a uh, factory navigation, factory DVD player, factory moonroof, power tailgate, <clears throat> of course, leather interior, quad seating. It's got the 20-inch chrome wheels with Goodyear tires. Uh, the front tires, they're not new, but they're in pretty good shape still, as you can see. Uh, factory running boards. Has no damage whatsoever anywhere, uh, no, uh, no hail damage, no love bugs, no major touch-ups of any kind. Has a clean title and a clean Carfax you can view right now at our website at VehicleMax.net. These rear tires are new. So we got two in the front that are about a little bit more than half-life, probably about 60, 70 percent. And the two rears, I believe they're both new. <clears throat> okay. It is also a, um, it's got a backup sensors here in the rear. You can see there's two on each side. The heavy duty towing package with the electrical connection and the brake connection right there already ready to go. It is also um, E85 uh, capable, meaning it's flex fuel. You can put that fuel that is, a, that is about uh, 30 to 50 cents cheaper. By the way, if you're watching this video, you're not a trader, let me tell you, it will cut off at three minutes. If you want to see the full 10 minute video, please visit our website, vehiclemax.net. Okay, as I said, the two rear tires are new. Brand new Goodyear, as a matter of fact, you can still see, it still has a sticker on there that they never got removed. Just back and forth to the tire shop, LTZ model, running boards in perfect shape, tinted windows, roof rack, uh, power tailgate, power folding mirrors with a turn signal on them, and a number of other options that I'll get into in just one minute. As I said again, the front tires are not new, but they still have good tread left on them. They don't need to be replaced. Okay, one of the features that the car has, let me get the key out of my pocket. Is the uh, remote start. You lock the vehicle. Okay, you press this once and then again and you hold it. Turn signals will flash and the car turns right on. Now the normal procedure is uh, you unlock the car, uh, co get inside the car, stick the key in the ignition, put it to the on position and you can drive off. You can also turn it off by pressing the same key here. Turns right off. Okay, let me go ahead and get inside and show you some of the interior options. <clears throat> it is uh, light, gr uh, light gray leather on the inside. Uh, dual power seats. This is the driver's side. Power seat, power recliner, and lumbar support. The door panel is two-tone. Uh, they call this uh, light titanium and dark titanium here. It's got like a light gray with a light dove gray with a, uh, a little bit darker gray up here. Um, we got heated seats um, and also memory on the driver's side. The heated seats, of course, are on both sides. Power folding mirrors, and I'll show you how those work in just a minute. Of course, we got power mirrors, power windows, power door locks, cruise control, tail wheel, automatic headlights, and a number of other options. So let's go ahead and get it started and look at the main options, which are going to be your navigation, moonroof, and, uh, and DVD. Okay, first of all, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, get the stereo. It is touch screen, right there is a navigation screen. Okay, let's go to audio. We can play, we can make a movie play up here, I believe. Okay, DVD, let's press play. Well, that gets going, let me go ahead and open the power moonroof. Let me lower the volume here, it's already playing. Um, power moonroof is a one touch. You don't have to hold the switch, it goes down all the way on its own. And let's close it, same thing to close it, one touch. It is a glass moonroof, it is tinted, but you also have this cover here in case you want to block out the sun completely. No light, any light in whatsoever. Let's for now leave it open so we can get a little more lighting in here so the uh, video will come out better. Okay. <clears throat> right now we're playing the uh, movie here. Okay. And let's move back here. Because this vehicle not only plays DVDs on the navigation screen, but it's also got the uh, factory DVD player for the uh, middle row passengers. If you look close enough, you'll see that they're playing simultaneously the same thing. Well, right now it's in a pause, it seems. There you go. You can see they're both playing exactly the same thing. That's their factory navigation screen up in the middle there. Quad seats in the middle. So we got two in the front, two in the middle, and we can, uh, two in the back. So it's a total of uh, six passengers. Okay, 
Uh, we got rear AC up here for the middle row passengers and also for the rear row passengers. So we got actually in this vehicle uh, quad buckets, I mean, sorry, uh, uh, triple buckets. So we got buckets in the rear, buckets in the middle, and buckets in the front. By the way, if you need a, in a on the rear, if you need a, a full uh, bench seat, we probably have another unit that we could swap out of it in case you want a bench seat in the rear row, not the middle row. All right, um, let's go ahead and let's get the driver's side window open. So one touch. As you can see, it is tinted. Passenger side is also one touch. You don't have to hold the switch. There for your window. And they fold all the way down the other way, okay? And the right rear. All right, we've got curtain side airbags here on the front post for the driver, uh, for the driver. The middle post for the driver's head and also the rear passengers. <coughs> and for the rear row up here. I mean the middle row up here. Okay. Uh, let's move back onto the front. All right, power seats. I don't know if you can see this. Let me let it focus in. Okay. Not only move sideways, but they also go up and down. That's going to be hard for you to see in the video. The recliner. Okay. And this for the lumbar support. There's no way you're going to see that in the video. All right, uh, let's move back up here. <coughs> Car has, let me lower the volume on the DVD, by the way. Um, Car has... 62,950 miles. The car, by the way, is running now. Keep an eye on the left hand dial, the larger one. And the reason I'm doing that is I'm revving it just so you can see that the car is running and there are no check engine lights on, no airbag lights on, no maintenance soon, no anti lock brakes, nothing. The car is in perfect shape. By the way, this car is still in the manufacturer's warranty of five years and 100,000 miles on the powertrain. The bumper to bumper warranty has been exceeded by mileage. All right, our OnStar system. Right here in the rear view mirror, we have a compass and the temperature readout. Shows you the temperature outside as well as uh, what direction you're heading. These three little buttons here, that's your home link. That's to program your, your uh, garage door or your gate or your complex. Uh, <clears throat> this is for the power tail gate here. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna operate that from here now. Let me make sure the doors are unlocked. Okay, sorry, my hand's shaking here a little bit. All right, there it goes. All right, and you close it the same way right here on this switch, or you can close it on the remote control switch right on the bottom one there, right above the uh, red. Okay, another feature that has got um, these uh, middle row buckets, they are powerful to gain access for the rear passengers. Uh, one touch, it'll fold down the backrest. The second touch, it'll fold up out of the way. Let's try that now. All right, that's the one touch, and here comes the second touch, and it flips out of the way. That's to gain easy access for the rear row passengers. All right, the other side does the same thing, but we're only going to do one here as we're a little short on time. Vanity mirrors that are lit. Okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pan around the vehicle. In the meantime, I do that. Uh, oh, by the way, I forgot to show you this. Get the uh, Bose stereo sound system. Another thing I did forget to tell you, but before I show you that, I want to go ahead and close the tailgate. Close the tailgate. I want to show you the rear camera before I get into uh, other smaller stuff. Okay. Once you put the car, right now it's sitting on, uh, it's, get, it's ready to play. Uh, the DVD, by the way. But we're going to put it, once we put it on reverse, you'll see the screen is going to change, oops, sorry about that, to a color uh, rear camera. And I'm going to back up so you can see how it works. There's a Lincoln Navigator back there. We're going to uh, approach that vehicle slowly. And you'll see the, the, that beeping sound that you just heard is the parking sensors that are working together with the rear camera to give you uh, the best possible access uh, to avoid hitting something. I'll keep going. It'll beep again, probably a little more rapidly. All right. There you go. Uh, as you can see, this section here, that's our rear bumper. It's very, very accurate. We're, we're probably less than uh, 12 inches away from the, from the uh, front bumper, that Lincoln Navigator. All right, and when you pull away, just put it in drive, and the rear camera will go back to what it was playing before. All right, let's go put it in park. 
and then we're gonna probably get there's our movie and to go back to navigation all we gotta do is come over here and press nav <clears throat> all right um uh it's got a towing haul mode that way you don't burn any transmission if you're towing a boat or um or a trailer as I pan around the dashboard and some of this interior part of it, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, OnStar. If any of the airbags deploy, uh, either front or side airbags, it sends a signal to the OnStar center that you've been involved in an accident. They'll attempt to contact you through the car to make sure you're okay. If you do not respond within a reasonable amount of time, or you do respond and say you need help, they'll dispatch emergency vehicles to come to your aid. Uh, also, if you're uh, running out of fuel and need to find your nearest gas station or hotel or restaurant, or if you're just plain old lost, you press the OnStar button and then the people at the OnStar Center will give you um, <clears throat> will give you turn-by-turn -turn directions and to get to uh, wherever you need to get to. Another neat feature is if, uh, if you lock the keys inside your car, uh, you call one, uh, I believe it's a 1-800 number provided by OnStar, and you give them your credentials such as your username, password, or whatever it is they use to identify you, and as soon as they do that, they can send an immediate signal to your car to get the car open. So that'll save you time and money by having to call a locksmith and wait for them an hour to get there. Okay, let's get the AC going. <clears throat> uh, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm going to close up here. The driver's side is set at 61 degrees, and the passenger side is 65. So we got dual climate control. You can make one side cooler than the other. Also, same thing with the rear. So it essentially is a triple climate control. Uh, all they're all independent of each other as far as what temperature you put it at. Power adjustable pedals, just in case you got a real tall driver or a short driver. This is to disable the uh, parking sensors. That's in case you're towing a boat, because the moment you, if you're towing a boat or a trailer, when you put it in reverse, I think it's just going to drive you crazy beeping. So this is the way to disable. Okay. Traction control, rear washer. These are power outlets here for your charger. Another one over here. Uh, storage here. I believe this is your ashtray. It doesn't look like it's been used cup holder here <clears throat> so you can see there's wood trimming all around around the uh, stereo also around the uh, onboard computer this tells you a number of other things such as tire pressure and a bunch of other things okay settings uh, continues on over there in the passenger front and also as you can see on the door panels all right <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and uh, we get the movie installed so let's go ahead and put uh, the radio this vehicle has an XM stereo, but I wanted to show you that we have remote control here on the steering wheel for the stereo. Make it louder here, lower here. You can mute it right here. Okay, and you could. Um, this is to search your preset stations, and this is to seek source. Is to change it from AM to FM to XM to DVD. Right there, I'm playing the source button. Now we're on XM stereo. Right now, uh, the XM stereo is in a preview mode, which means uh, the um, subscription has expired. You need to renew it when you buy the vehicle. And it goes on to DVD and auxiliary. The auxiliary, uh, actually, I didn't even need to press it. The auxiliary is for your iPod. You connect your iPod here, and then you can play your iPod right on your Bose stereo sound system. Go ahead and put it back on FM. As you can see, it is touch screen. All right, uh, leather up string wheel. I'll pan over real quick. And also, if you've looked at these cars before, you will notice uh, what perfect condition these are here. These uh, normally peel. There's a uh, shiny plastic underneath it. This is like a rubbery film. And I wanted to show you that these are in perfect shape. Okay, no peeling area anywhere. No cuts, no scuffs, no nail marks, especially from the ladies, you know. This will chip if they, uh, if, they, if they hit it with their nails. Cruise control over here. <coughs> Uh, leather up steering wheel and I'll go over that nice and slow so you can see that it is not peeling, cut, uh, damaged in any way or twisted or the uh, stitching coming apart anywhere. By the way, if you have any questions, my name is George. It can be reached at 305-218-5462. Again, the website is vehiclemax.net. Okay, we can go ahead and turn off the car now. Let's move on to the uh, middle row section and the rear row. We'll pop the hood now and we need to conclude this video. Okay, as I showed you before, heated seats here on both sides. I'll show you that when I get to the passenger side. Oops, let me go ahead and panel with the driver's seat. I haven't done that yet. This is the one that's going to have the most wear. And as you can see, it's in excellent shape. There are no tears, cuts, burn holes anywhere. As a matter of fact, there's no burn holes anywhere on the seats, door panels, carpeting, or headliner. 
uh, with, and there's no odor of smoke either, which this would indicate to me that I believe this is a belong to a non-smoker. Door panels you can see in perfect shape, even the speaker cover is not cracked. All the handles are in perfect shape, they're not broken, a lot of these is very common for them to break here. Okay. Alright, uh, rear row passenger, actually left a little dirt here from the in and out, but that comes right off. Uh, <coughs> uh, child lock, how that works is you stick your key or a screwdriver in there, you twist this over here to the left, and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got kids and you don't want them to be able to open the door from the inside. Put it back to normal. Uh, quad seating, as again, this one is a uh, power fold just like that other one did, and I'll show you how to put that down in a minute. Okay, we already took a peek back here. Uh, the rear row, these are buckets in the rear, okay? And you can also activate these here, these uh, power folding here, rather than doing it from the front. So we got two ways to activate that. <coughs> Okay, all the tail lights or headlights are in perfect shape. They're not cracked or scuffed or anything like that. The emblems are in nice shape. Rear wiper, rear window defroster. Um, here's the little camera that you were looking at of before. Power tailgate, you can operate it by just pressing that there. There's a little switch right in here. <coughs> uh, this is a cargo area, as you can see in the suburban. There's plenty of space back here. These seats can also be folded down and flipped forward to back up right against the middle row seats to give you more cargo space or if you're not using the rear row seats, they are completely removable so that you have uh, plenty of room. Okay, uh, to close the tailgate, we could do it from the front, we could do it from the remote, or we could do it from right here. Okay, there's no damage whatsoever, no scratches, no dents. Again, the door handles are in perfect shape. Okay, I want to show you that because they, they, um, they crack there. All right. Door panel, same thing, two-tone with the wood trimming also back here. To put this down, all you've got to do is do this manually. You don't need to be very strong. Not hard, it's not hard at all. Just flip it forward. Even a young lady can do it. Okay, um, we've got uh, heated seats not only in the front, but also, as you can see here, in the rear. Uh, so these middle row buckets are also heated. There are controls here for the stereo and for the air conditioning. And then there's an audio in, uh, sorry, a video input there because you want to put in like a game like a Nintendo or any of those games as long as you can power it you can play it right on this DVD screen here uh, this here folds out for a cup holder but we're running out of time so we're gonna, we're gonna actually speed this up here a little bit alright front door panel two-tone no cracks in the speaker covers I'll pan over the passenger seat here let me just move some of this dust off here Again, if you have any questions, my name is George, 305-218-5462, vehiclemax.net is a website. <clears throat> we are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida, 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. Again, if you have any questions, my name is George, 305-218-5462, vehiclemax.net, 5.3 V8 engine. Gonna go ahead and close the hood and conclude this video. And I want to tell you that we have a lot of SUVs in stock, so check out our website, vehiclemax.net. And thank you for watching our video.